Results of the European Basic Laparoscopic Urological Scales Examination Since 2011 the EBLAS examination has been introduced as a pilot for examination of final year urological residents. Despite the growing popularity of robot-assisted laparoscopy in urology, conventional laparoscopic surgery is still the established technique for several indications throughout Europe. Laparoscopy requires specific skills, such as counterintuitive movements of the instruments and indirect view of the operating site. Simulator-based skills training currently is widely accepted and implemented. However, qualification and certification of laparoscopic skills performance are still in a preliminary phase within urology. Chum et al. developed and validated the program of laparoscopic urological skills on more than 50 novices, intermediates and experts. The program of laparoscopic urological skills offers quality and time standards for completion of five basic laparoscopic tasks. The norm is based on a generalized examinee-centered method. This educational approach uses the linear relationship between assessment scores and degree of procedural experience of multiple reference groups. For every task, a pass-fail cutoff score was defined on the interception of novices and intermediates' performance. Also, for every task, quality requirements were defined. Aim of this study? What is the level of laparoscopic skills of final year residents in urology in Europe? And do European participants of the EBLUS pass the examination according to the previously validated criteria? Method? During the European Urology Residence Education Programme 2011 and 2012 in Prague, 104 participants completed the exam and a questionnaire. All available videos of their performances were analysed. This video explains the exercises and shows an example of a participant on the exam. In the right upper corner, as comparison, expert performance is shown of the same exercise. The stopwatch in the right lower corner counts the seconds. The video is stopped when the task is finished or the target time is exceeded. Pack transfer. Transfer the objects one by one from one side of the board to the other. Lift each object with your non-dominant hand and transfer it in mid-air to your dominant hand. There is no importance placed on the color of the objects or the order they are placed in. When all objects are placed on one side of the board, transfer them back. This time, lift each object with your dominant hand and transfer it in midair to your non-dominant hand. Time stops when the last object falls over the last pin. This graph shows the performance of all participants on this task. On the x-axis, the time in seconds, on the y-axis, the percentage of participants. The bold black line shows the validated target time score. 74.3% of the participants exceeded the target time on this task. Cutting a circle. Give traction on the gauze to make the first cut. Use the wheel of the scissors to turn the blades. Make sure you keep traction on the gauze when cutting. Be careful not to cut beyond one of the lines. This will be recorded as an error. Time stops when the circle is loose. Eighty five point seven per cent of the participants exceeded the target time on this task.
single knot tying. Place the needle through the two black dots. Gently push the needle through the dots using a circular motion of the wrist. Pull the suture in the direction of the trocar. Make a double throw. Holding the needle makes it easier to maneuver the instrument over the curve. Make two single throws in opposite direction. Make sure the knot is tied securely. Open the blades of the scissor, slide over the suture towards the knot and cut. Time stops when the suture is cut. 84.3% of the participants passed this exercise within the target time. Clip and cut. Place the ender loop around the blue tube and pull it out of the trocar with your left instrument. Secure the loop outside the box with a mosquito clamp, so the red tube is visible and free. Place three hammerlock clips on a continuous line on the red tube. Make sure the bottom tip of the clip is visible before closing the grasper. Cut the red tube between the dotted lines. Release the mosquito clamp. Now place three clips on a continuous line on the blue tube. Cut the blue tube between the dotted lines. Time stops when the blue tube is cut. Ninety percent of the participants exceeded the target time on this task. Needle guidance. Use the Grand Manier to fix the needle in the needle driver. Use circular movements when pulling the needle through the ring. Time stops when the needle comes out of the last ring.
71.4% of the participants exceeded the target time on this task. Common quality errors. Dropping objects. Cutting outside of the black lines. Stitch not through the black dots. And placing a cut outside the dotted lines. 64.3% of the participants passed the quality criteria of 11 out of 14 points. Results of the questionnaire. 61% of the participants declared that they did not have the opportunity to train laparoscopic skills. The participants performed a median of four laparoscopic procedures during their residency. Discussion. The majority of participants do not reach the criteria. Quality is scored relatively well, but time is low. This implies that more skills lab training could benefit these participants. Explanation of the low score can be the low level of laparoscopic experience and training hours. Conclusion. The results show that although quality of performance is good, most residents do not pass the validated time criteria of the EBLIS examination. Regular laparoscopic training or a dedicated fellowship in laparoscopy should improve the laparoscopic level of residents in urology.